Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. IRS launches resource page on irs.gov, irs.gov, the IRS website with latest details and information for taxpayers during filing season. But first, an attempt at a joke. I apologize in advance. Dealing with the IRS is like picking your nose. We need to proceed just one booger at a time. We do our best dealing with the booger slash IRS correspondence, which is currently at hand. And when done, we flick that booger at the wall, or IRS, to see if it sticks. Or if it bounces right back in our face. Even if the booger does stick, we're still well aware that eventually, the boogers will mysteriously return. However, that's okay, because we just stay patient, vigilant, handling, one booger at a time. IR 2022-32 February 14th, 2022, Washington. To help taxpayers and tax professionals, the Internal Revenue Service today announced a special new page. There's a link to that special new page here. It's on the IRS website, irs.gov, irs.gov, to provide the latest details and information affecting the 2022 filing season and ongoing efforts by the agency to address the inventory of previously filed tax returns. So obviously we're in the current filing season. That's a busy time for the Internal Revenue Service and they're clearly backed up as they have been saying in previous announcements with previous tax returns. And so they're addressing uh, those issues here. What we wanna take away at least is that we would like to have our tax return as cleanly filed as possible so it doesn't get backed up in the delayed stack which apparently is huge at this point in time. So if you're looking for the refund, then you wanna to try to get your as accurate as a uh, tax return as you can, file it electronically and uh, do the direct deposit so you have as minimal processing time by the IRS. In other words, you would like the computer in essence to be able to just process your tax return without having the need for too much individual interaction because if there is a need for that, you might be finding yourself at the end of the list at the end of a long pile of tax returns and un and having a substantial delay. So in any case, during this tax season, the taxpayers face a number of issues due to critical tax law changes that took place in 2021 and ongoing challenges related to the pandemic. To raise awareness about these issues and provide people with the latest timely information, the IRS has created a special tax season webpage. This page will provide people with a quick overview of information to help people filing tax returns as well as those who have previous year tax returns awaiting processing by the IRS. Quote, the IRS is taking numerous steps to keep this tax season going smoothly while also taking additional action to address the inventory of tax returns filed last year. End quote, said IRS Commissioner Chuck Reddick. Quote, we're off to a good start processing tax returns and issuing refunds, but we want people to have an easy way to see the latest information. This new page provides a one-stop shop for the latest key information about, about and the tax community may need, end quote. The special tax season alerts, there's a link to that here page, will be available through the irs.gov, irs.gov homepage and shared through social media and other channels. The page will include the latest filing season updates. The IRS began tax season on January 24th and in less than two weeks, more than 4 million tax refunds have gone out worth nearly $10 billion. Millions more will go out in weeks ahead as the IRS enters an important period of the tax season. The page also includes links to important information related to ongoing efforts by the IRS to address the inventory of unprocessed tax returns filed before this year. This includes steps to stop more than a dozen common letters. There's a link to that here. That's a really interesting change that they had right now that they're actually stopping some of these common letters. I mean, to me, that's that's an indication that something it's, you know, they, they sincerely have a problem over there because some of those letters are collection letters uh, trying to attempt on collection processes. And to stop that seems uh, kind of an extreme move. But in any case, uh, those are two taxpayers. You can take a look at that and updates on IRS operations and the number of unpressed, uh, unprocessed returns, quote, the uh, combination of the pandemic, new tax laws, and numerous other factors 
led to an unprecedented amount of unprocessed tax returns and correspondence remaining in the IRS inventory during 2021, end quote. Reddick said, quote, we must continue pursuing innovative strategies while supporting the hard work and dedication of our employees to fulfill our commitment to return inventories to a healthy level, inventory being the tax returns, of course, in this case, that they're trying to process, to a healthy level before entering the 2023 filing season. These steps are making a difference. Refunds for tax returns and amended tax returns in the inventory continue to flow out to taxpayers, end quote. They are flowing out, I'm sure, but the question is, you know, how how bad is that bottleneck? Is there a bottleneck that, you know, <laughs> that uh, is pretty substantial or more flowing in that are flowing out? You know, is this thing getting better? We don't know, really, but uh, so just do your tax return as cleanly as possible to try to try to get it through without getting stuck in the end of that uh, the bottleneck, which would most likely be an instance if there's an error on the tax return and they need some individual processing. Obviously, the Fed is hit, you know, some of the hardest with these kind of pandemic rules and the social distancing and masking and working from home and not working at all or whatever's going on. So they're backed up. So the IRS continues to urge taxpayers to carefully review their tax filing for accuracy and file electronically with direct deposit to speed refunds. Special tips are available in several places on irs.gov, irs.gov, including the top five tips, basics, on the 2022 filing season and tax time guide. There's a link to those stuff here. There'll be a link to this in the description.